I've made a jig to help me align the runners correctly. Um, there is a possibility that the edge touching the ice may not be exactly parallel with the side of the runner, so I've made these jigs that uh, have a small groove down the center of them that uh, you insert the runner into. The laser level just nests right here up against the side of this aluminum bar with a groove in it. And of course the runner indexes right in here. And then you can check your alignment. What I've done is I've uh, set the jigs underneath each runner and uh, I don't exactly trust all laser levels, so I like to use the laser on the left side of the runner on both sides. So I've set my jigs up uh, accordingly. Um, sometimes when you flip those lasers over, they're not calibrated right, and they might give you a false reading. So if you hold them both on the same side, uh, you can't have a misreading then because they're both measured the same way. What you'll also need to do is um, raise the front runner the same height as the rear. What you'll need to do as well is uh, throw some weight in the boat to simulate sailing conditions and uh, to deflect the plank if it's got a bendy plank uh, because that will throw off your alignment too. The step is to uh, put your blocks in front of the laser that uh, have a vertical center line on and uh, line up the laser with the center line and that would be that small dot about a half inch off the bottom on that center line right there and then you got have to go do the uh, other side of the boat the same way I've got this uh, laser center line lined up now, and what you need to do next is measure between the two blocks with the center lines on them. After you've got that measurement up close, you need to take the block, and I uh, paced out oh, 20 feet away, and I recentered the center line on that block there. Now I've got to do the other side. What I've done is I brought this one out 20 feet and I've measured it the same distance as it was up there. And now what I have to do is put the laser back on this side, on this runner, and home it in until it hits the center line just perfect and then that, that runner will be perfectly aligned with the other one. Okay, I found that my runner is about an inch out of alignment, so what I need to do is I've loosened these bolt, bolts up here and uh, this bolt here allows the uh, chalk and runner to move this way and all you have to do is tighten or loosen this adjustment bolt until the center line hits the mark in this case I need to loosen it and now it is dead on and all I need to do is tighten these bolts back up. And we're set about as perfect as you can get.